Okay, so now that we've finished our edit, our sound mix, our grade, our VFX, let's just jump over to the render tab and hit render. I have to say, guys, there are so many impressive things in DaVinci Resolve 17 that I just don't even know where to start. But the one thing that has really stood out to me, the one thing above everything, is the render speeds. I mean, think about it. Do you really want your machine tied up for longer than real-time rendering? Because I know I don't. It's just not smart business. So check this out with me because it really took me by surprise. You guys know, as you can see here, this is the specs of my older 15-inch uh, Retina i7 MacBook Pro. It's the machine that I do all of my tutorials on. I must admit, in some areas in Resolve 17, this machine is struggling, especially with things like the Magic Mask. It just kills it, and I, have to, I, I just can't do it. It just can't handle Magic Mask for some reason. But in terms of rendering, I'm actually getting some really, really amazing results. Now in this project, you can see here, I've got 8K video files and I also have some MP4 files. So let's just select this one. So this is a 4K H.265 10 bit file, HEVC. These are the ones that are notorious to edit and notorious to render. Unless you kind of set up your workspace, like I keep saying, by using optimized media, use proxy media if available, and turning your render cache to smart or user, depending on which one you prefer. Now, if you follow those steps and you complete your edit, like what I have done here, and you jump over to your deliver tab, you can see that what I've done here is I've added just a test render. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to the render queue. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render it. But when it's rendering, guys, and you're watching this in real time, I'm not gonna speed it up. This is gonna be a real time render of 30 seconds and seven frames. Okay, so just watch up here for the speed per frames per second. And then over here at the end, we're gonna look at exactly how long it takes to render this piece of media, this 30 second edit, which is all 8K and 4K, raw or H.265. So here we go, three, two, one, render. And it's done. I didn't speed that up, guys. I did not speed it up. It completed it in three seconds. It completed it in three seconds. And I was watching up here. I'm going to go have to go back on the screen recording because I'm also screen recording at the same time. So I'm taking up bandwidth. If I wasn't screen recording, I could get it to render faster. So... I'm pretty sure it got up to like 250, 260 frames per second from what I saw. So if you guys haven't seen my video on how to set up DaVinci Resolve 16, which is basically is the same setup in 17, so that you can get a faster workflow and much higher render speeds and not have to always worry about what's going on with background renders and all that sort of stuff or doing exports out with proxy media, you'll see it in the link here or there, or it will be in the link in the description or it will be all three. So you can go check that out. Now I can guarantee you, if you follow the steps in that video, you will get better, faster, smoother playback and rendering, and just an overall more appealing experience from DaVinci Resolve. Man, I can just tell you, the step from 16 to 17 with these render speeds, it has just blown me away. It is the number one feature in Resolve for me because time is money. I just don't want my computer tied up rendering when I can be doing something else. And with that, guys, I hope you watched the other video. I hope you'd enjoyed this video. And for now, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.